Tonight I am going to be controlling rabbits once again. There are two special types of equipment that I'm using tonight. One is the CZ455 in 17 HMR, a very deadly but tiny round, but certainly more than enough for rabbits. And the second piece of equipment is the Thermite from DNT. This is the first time I'm using this. This incorporates day night vision and thermal all within the same screen. So I'm really eager to go and try it. The light is falling quite fast. I hope to get two or three before it really starts to get too dark and this starts to struggle then. But that's when I switch over to the night vision and we should be able to get a few tonight. I've just got myself over into this field. There were some rabbits, but obviously I've scared them getting over here. I do need to move a, a little bit further down there really. So that's what I'm going to do now, seeing as everything has just run away. I am a little bit early tonight. So it's going to be a little while before they start coming out, but they will start coming out and the darker it gets, the more rabbits start coming out and then it's just non-stop rabbit shooting. Here we go for our first one. It's a hundred and six yards. Simple enough really, hits it hard. It's quite a deadly round. Something spooked it then, I'm not sure. It wasn't me. It doesn't matter. So we got one. 100 yards exactly. Just sat there, peeping out of its little burrow. Really an enjoyable caliber, actually. Loud, but it really does the job. Another one at 58 yards. It is getting quite dark already, so the day mode is struggling a little bit, but I can see that rabbit just inside the bushes that thermal at the top there is actually picking up the heat source so it's actually that's how I'm finding it it's quite a devastating round it's only a tiny little thing but it really does hit hard There's another one still stood in the same spot. Where have we gone? That's 117 yards. Another one's just ran inside. Oh, God. Safety trigger is, safety catch on this is so hard. It's the only problem with a 455. I do like my 457. We are stretching it out. So far, three shots are over 100 yards. That's why it's probably pixelating a little bit more than what I would like, but not much I can do about that. This is generally for close range shooting. I'm just uh, pushing the limits a little bit. going to lie in this position here. I just scared a few away but I do know that it will come back out in this field. So I'll have a quick look with a the thermal, see if any are still out. We've got a couple still out. Let's see if we can find them. Close range, 86 yards. 
you can see how much it's pixelating because of the the darkness coming oh, the other one just legged it optional torch now this one does come with a torch a standard but because I'm shooting out to slightly further distances it'll help just to stick on an aftermarket torch so this one is the Solaris SRX I've had it for quite a few years now and you know, it works quite well I'm surprised I got that second then. While I'm waiting again, I'm just gonna quickly top up the magazine with a few rounds. These are the Remington Premier Magnum, 17 grain, I think. Put that back in there. Right, so now we're ready for, for some night action. down now should be able to get a few more Simple enough, just aim straight at it. 92 yards. Simple enough that one. Another. a bit unlucky I missed the second shot that was my fault a little bit more unsteady in the position that I'm in so 
that's why I missed 70 odd yards I should have had it but oh well can't get them all that's another evening done on the rabbits going to end it there really nice to use the 17 HMR it's pretty much just point and shoot Therm night on top first time using this I thought it performed really really well if you are interested in learning a little bit more about this just stay tuned now because I am going to talk a little bit more about it but I hope you enjoyed this little bit of hunting footage a little bit of daytime footage nighttime footage just to give you an idea about the therm night if you are thinking about buying one of these therm nights there are a few little very basic steps you can take so you get the most out of it they are very easy to use i'm just going to quickly go over a few little things just so you can easily get started when it comes to zeroing pretty much the same as azulus nothing really to talk about there however because this has thermal as well there are two profiles you need to set up so you'll zero whichever one first for example the optical sight which is the day night vision first once you've done done that it'll then give you the option to zero the thermal exactly the same but you've just got to zero it twice nothing difficult but just something to remember when it comes to focusing as well because there's two lenses here you have the optical sight and this one is for your thermal changing between each mode from thermal to optical or optical to thermal is just the simple press of this button here to turn picture in picture mode on or off you simply hold this button just here you may have noticed that the crosshair is not central on this that's only on this rifle yours might be in a different position but once you zoom in one click it then goes central range finding is exactly the same as the Zulus it is the button on the side here and you simply press it range it don't really need to explain too much about that because if you want a Zulus it's pretty much exactly the same there is no slot to install your own memory card this has inbuilt memory it's approximately 24 gigabyte I think and you can transfer data using the side port just there also on the side port you have the picatinny mount so you can attach any other accessories that you wish to apply such as a torch there is also a rubber eyepiece on the thermal as well because we all know that a thermal is quite a sensitive piece of equipment the center on the thermite is 256 by 192 that is a rather budget friendly sensor usually on your cheaper thermal type monoculars and things like that however it does have a net d of sub 25 millikelvin that probably puts it in the mid price bracket bracket of thermal sensors so there is a bit of give and take there the price is to try and keep it down so this is around at the time of making this video around a thousand pounds for this scope so that does keep the price relatively cheap so it's a mid price net d rating budget sensor and the sensor is more to do with it's more of a spotter than anything else it's not as much as an animal identifier but because of its mid price net d you are going to pick up the heat source a little bit easier than a budget net d i know that was quite a mouthful trying to get all that i'm trying to explain it as best as i can in the most simplest of forms the user interface on this the menu on the therm night is actually different to a Zulus, so you will have to get used to it but like anything else a little bit of playing around you'll soon get used to it it's nothing difficult but it is different to the Zulus. the thermal has a 3 to 12 zoom range and the optical side has a 5 to 20 zoom range hopefully this has been beneficial to you i've tried to explain it in just some very basic terms because like myself i'm not going to use every single feature there's plenty of other videos out there which explain every feature i'm just going over a few basic features that i've figured out for myself so if you are interested in one of these i've tried to explain it best i can hopefully you found it useful so any questions please ask below i'll try my best to answer them or refer you to someone who can or a different video thank you very much Cheers, hope you enjoyed the hunting and my little review. Cheers.